There is a molecule found naturally in your body that influences over 500 different gene expressions, resulting in strong regeneration and anti-inflammatory properties. But taking a deeper dive, this molecule has the ability to tighten loose skin, reduce wrinkles, grow back hair, increase collagen production, and many more beauty enhancing benefits. And up until this point, this molecule naturally declined as we age. But since the discovery of this, we realized that we can add more into our body, resulting in many anti-aging and longevity benefits. And this amazing molecule is copper peptide GHKCU. And GHKCU has been getting a ton of attraction from the peptide community because it has so many cosmetic benefits, but we're just seeing it actually has much more than helping with the cosmetics. Let's take a deep dive into GHKCU where I'll share all my research, my thoughts, and opinions on this amazing peptide. Before I begin, I must say a little disclaimer. This information is purely educational. I'm not a doctor. If any medical questions or concerns you may have, please consult your doctor. Do not listen to me. So what is this peptide? Well, GHKCU is a natural copper peptide found in human plasma. And usually around the age 30 is when this peptide starts decreasing naturally in the human blood. And this peptide is probably one of the most common peptides people know about because it's so well used. So it's heavily used in the cosmetic industry, like the hair and skin industry. And interestingly enough, this peptide actually helps modulate over 500 different genes in the body. So as you can see, it's not just for cosmetics it can be much more therapeutic or it can have much other applications. So how does this peptide work? Well, GHKKU affects multiple pathways in the body, so it's hard to say exactly this one exact mechanism, but here is how I think about it. So for tissue injuries, GHKCU acts as a chemo attractant, which pretty much signals the body to move cells to that injury. Additionally, it helps stimulate proteins to help with the repair and injury of the injured sites. GHKCU increases collagen, stem cell production, and bone formation by helping stimulating chondrocytes in bones. As well, GHKCU provides copper, which is essential for angiogenesis, which is the formation of new blood cells, which that is very important for helping the body heal and regenerate faster. And GHKKU helps reduce oxidative damage after an injury, which oxidative damage pretty much damages the body. And this can be applied for many different things, which is why it's so powerful with helping with hair, skin, nails, even internal healing. And the thing is, there's so much more to learn about this copper peptide because we are just brushing the surface because it literally impacts over 500 different genes in the body. So here are the research benefits of GHKCU. It helps tighten loose skin. It increases collagen production. It can reduce fine lines and wrinkles. It can help grow back hair by actually blocking the DHT. It can help with nerve regeneration and bone formation. And overall, it can help fight inflammation. So here are the research side effects. The first side effect is taking for a continuous period of time at a higher dose. The lunula of your nail can turn blue, which that will quickly go away if you just stop the peptide. Another side effect is possibility of copper toxicity, which I believe that could be greatly reduced just by not taking a dumb dose. So here is the research dosing and cycling. So for subcutaneous use, so injecting under the skin, I've seen anywhere from one to two milligrams in six week intervals and then taking six weeks off. But from my experience, most people or subjects tend to do topical because it's heavily marketed for the cosmetics. So pretty much for cosmetic use is to apply to the area you're trying to focus on. So if you're trying to work on your skin, apply to your skin, your hair, whatever it may be. And from my research, it seems that no need to be a cycling on that. You can just take it continuously because you won't get nearly the absorption rate of injecting it into the body. So to summarize for sub Q, one to two milligrams a day for six weeks intervals. And then for any kind of topical or cosmetic use, continually use until the goal is reached. So now let's go into the research timing and benefits. And this largely applies just for more topical use because that's a big reason why GHKCU is used. And from my experience, doing a cleanse and microneedling before applying GHKCU, because this does two things. First, 
It prevents your body's oils from actually disrupting the absorption of GHKCU. And additionally, the micro needling actually stimulates damage, which GHKCU, that's when it shines because the damage will stimulate the GHKCU, leading to a synergistic effect. So for skin and for hair, especially here, I've actually done this myself, is doing micro needling, then adding GHKCU. Now here are some supplements I would take this with. The first would be some kind of biotin and vitamin C in fish oil. I just think of these are great beauty supplements that, again, the large reason why people use this is for beauty. So biotin, vitamin C, and fish oil would be some things I would add to this. Now let's go into the peptides I would take with this. The first would be some kind of GHRH with a GHRP, so a peptide that creates growth hormone and one that releases it, such as like tesorelin with ipirelin. And the reason why is that growth hormone is the hormone of vitality, it helps with having better skin, better hair, better sleep. So many people use GHKCU for beauty and growth hormone is the hormone of vitality. Another peptide would be BPC-157 or TB-500 or TB-4. Those are some really amazing helium peptides and GHKCU is a very powerful helium peptide, especially added in TB-4 with GHKCU because one benefit of TB-500 is actually helping with hair growth. So I'm actually want to play around with this in the future, but doing like a hair growth cycle with TB-4 and GHKCU. Another powerful peptide would be PTD DBM which is a video I need to make on soon but this is actually a man-made peptide to help with hair growth so this is actually something I really want to try out but adding in PTD DBM with GHKCU I think could be an amazing hair growth hack so this is why I add them together. And the last one would be KPV. And KPV is a very powerful healing peptide. But one great thing about this is that KPV is amazing for wound healing and can be applied in many different ways, just like GHKCU. So I would actually mostly use this in cream form with GHKCU with KPV for a cream. I think it'd be such a powerful cream to heal injuries or heal scar tissue or even for cosmetics to heal stretch marks. So what are the pros of GHKCU? The first pro is that it's been heavily used for many, many years. A second pro is that it has a lot of regenerative properties. Another pro is that it can be used in many different ways from oral, from injecting, from topical. So what are some cons of this peptide? The first one is that it is so expensive. They mark this peptide crazy. I remember when I first heard about like GHKCU like products, they were like hundreds of dollars, which is outrageous to me. The second con is that it can be hard to see how effective these actually are when it comes to cosmetics because a lot of times these peptides are combined with many other different things in cosmetics. So what is my overall opinion of GHKCU? Well, I've actually used it quite extensively with hair, with on the face, with injecting, and I like it, but I will say for the hair products, I couldn't really tell if I could saw results, but at the same time, it takes at least nine months to a year to like actually test out something, and unfortunately I did not. So still I'm not for sure how effective it is, but just thinking of the mechanism of action of how it actually works, I could see it be very promising if I was more patient or really wanted to do it. But overall, I think this peptide is great. I just think it's nice because you can have it in so many different ways. I really want to experiment with more cream version, especially like KPV with BPC, because I think that could be very powerful, or also a hair serum. There are just many different ways to use this peptide, which is again, why I like it. Anyways, that is my current thoughts and opinions on GHKCU. Thank you for watching. Please check out my book, Peptides Made Simple. It's an amazing book that covers everything this and much more. So if you like what I do, you want to support my business, please go on Amazon, buy the book. And if you love it that much, please leave a review because this helps me out so much. Anyways, thank you for watching. Please comment down anything you want to learn about or more about. Have an amazing day and stick around for future videos.